everyone. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to evaluate a definite integral using the reverse power rule. Uh, we have some examples typed out on the slide so we can go ahead and just jump into the first one. So the first step that we're going to want to take here is to use the reverse power rule which is that the integral of some function x to the nth power dx is going to be equal to x to the n plus 1 power over n plus 1. So then our integral over here on the right, we can rewrite our function as 5 times x to the 0, because x to the 0 is just 1, minus 4 times x to the negative 3. And then moving back over to the left and applying the power rule, we'll get 5 times x to the 0 plus 1, which is just 1 over 1, minus negative 4 times x to the negative 3 plus 1, which is negative 2, divided by negative 2, and then we can simplify that a little bit more. So 5x plus 2 times x to the negative 2, and then also make sure to write down your bounds. So now all we have left to do is to evaluate the integrand at the given bounds. So we had 5x plus 2 times x to the negative 2 from 1 to 3. So now we can just plug in 3 into these terms and then subtract 1 plugged into these terms. So we'll get 5 times 3 plus 2 times 3 to the negative 2 minus this whole thing. 5 times 1 plus 2 times 1 to the negative 2. So then simplifying that, we get 15 plus 2 over 3 squared, which is just 9, minus 5, minus 2. Don't forget to distribute your negative sign. So then we can just add our whole numbers first. So 15 minus 5 is 10, minus 2 is 8, plus the 2 ninths. So then giving ourselves a common denominator, 8 times 9 is 72, plus 2, the whole thing over 9, gives us 74 over 9. And that is our answer. So now that we've gotten a little bit more practice with the reverse power rule, we can move on to a little bit harder of an example. So typically when I see something like this, I like to rewrite it so that we don't have a denominator. So we'll have 2 and then the square root of x is just x to the 1 half, but since it's in the denominator and we're bringing it up, the exponent should be negative. So we have x to the negative 1 half dx. And that just makes it a little bit easier to apply the reverse power rule. So moving over to the left here, we'll get 2 times x to the negative 1 half plus 1 over negative 1 half plus 1. So then that simplifies to 2 times x to the 1 half over 1 half. And then when we divide by 1 half, we're just multiplying by 2. So we have 4 times x to the 1 half, and then remember our bounds, 18 and 1. So now we can just evaluate that. So we get 4 times the square root of 18 minus 4 times the square root of 1. And then simplifying that, we'll get 4 times 3 root 2 minus 4 because the square root of 1 is just 1. So then that gives us 12 root 2 minus 4 as our final answer. 